And now here's the women's Royal Rumble winner. On the number one spot. Great effort. It was a good win. No, I'm not mad about that. Now, who is she going to pick? We probably won't find out today. Maybe some other time. But we'll see. Alright, Rhea. Are you going to tell us? Or do we have to wait a little bit more? Who will you face? Without my Latino heat, my dumb oh dogs, my. and the Judgment Day crew. Oh, but man. I really just wanted all the attention on me. Two nights ago, I disrupted the status quo. I did the unthinkable. I went the distance. I came in here. Oh, it was too much. I said last night. I thought the Royal Rumble was on Sunday. It was on Saturday. That's right. To win the Royal Rumble match. You can't hear my stomach growling. And now, I get to choose whichever champion I Ooh, want to face is it gonna be? at WrestleMania. Three years ago, I had just turned 24. My career was just getting started, and I was the NXT Women's Champion. And I came here to Monday Night Raw. I stood in this ring, and I challenged the winner of the Royal Rumble match, Charlotte Flair. I challenge her to a match at WrestleMania, and she, she put me in my place. You want revenge? You know, the funny thing about Charlotte is that she's always somehow in the title picture. She's always at the top of her game. And I hate, I hate to give her the credit, but she seems to get better each and every year. The normal flow here in the WWE is that Charlotte Flair is at the top. Yes, yes she is. But I'm the disruptor. I don't like the natural flow. I don't like the normal formula and I don't like things being overplayed. Are we picking Charlotte? So Charlotte. Oh. I advise you to enjoy everyone rising and bowing down to the queen. Because they're about to rise to Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea just picked Charlotte. At WrestleMania, I put you in your place. All right. Rhea's going after Charlotte. Charlotte Flair, I choose you. Wow. Here we go. Oh man. Wow. Cool. But Rhea looks to rewrite his 